But the thing is, you have to wait for Ganondorf to come after you. You're the faster one. Do you want to sit down? <laughs> no, you're all good. You're all good. I just like could barely hear you, so I was like, uh, what? You could get in and like. <laughs> anyway, so what? <laughs> so we got you got a Gear Bear on the side. You want to say anything? Yeah. Uh, well, Falco should. Pretty much dominate the matchup against Ganondorf. Lasers and auto cancel aerials just stop any approach Ganondorf has. Oh, yeah. So it's not like you can approach with a side B grab, the command grab. It's going to be beaten out by anything. Right. And then, yeah. And then the down down B, Wizard's kick, is just going to be too slow. Oh, yeah. It's going to be too slow to really challenge anything else Falco has. Anything, and any sort of any sort of speed should be able to beat Ganondorf. It's just a matter, it's just a matter of how the person approaches it. Uh, if you approach it by just being like, hey, let's fight, like, consistently, you're going to brawl with them, and then you're just going to be brawled and beaten. Like, that's, that's how it works. Right. Uh, um, I think we have another, uh, another set here. Well, in, we our have, another, in our set, uh, so we, we have, have Dot Q yet yeah, again. Dot Q again, uh, but this time we got Ed. Yep. So, all right, so Ed, Ed, Ed Sheik is pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, I, I, fought, I fought it earlier today, and um, uh, he d I feel like he doesn't go for the, the more... Obvious options that Sheik will usually oh, go yeah. for. I think I think he has more of a hit and run style, which I think benefits him because it's it's unorthodox. Uh, I know that like, I, I, again, I keep unorthodox. No one no one sees it coming. It's yeah. like, totally unexpected. I, I I keep using that word, but it's it's a perfect way to describe a lot of the a lot of the picks that you see in Smash uh, right. Four, honestly. Right. Uh, ah. Um, oh, Doc and we got Pac-Man. Doc is going for the Pac-Man. Um, the Pac Attack. All right. I'm not a f that that's pretty neat honestly. I haven't seen this yet so. Honestly, Pac-Man, I I've seen a couple times in streams uh either from Shofu or uh Abadango. Uh right? yep. Yeah, I, I they'll, they'll play they'll play some pretty good Pac-Man. I think uh one important thing with Pac-Man is like uh, your bonus fee management like you need to figure out uh, what fruit does what at what percent. Oh yeah. Along along with the hydrant, hydrant's one of his uh more, more useful tool. The hydrant well. is a very, very powerful tool if used correctly. <laughs> right. I don't know if this is the right map for it, but uh, you can get some interesting, get some interesting angles and setups with uh, hydrant here. Yeah. Uh, oh, so yeah, the key wait, too. Uh, wasted, the key. The, wasted the key there. I guess expected she to jump a little bit higher Oof. to really take advantage of th that key, but I guess he just like threw it away. So um, Doc Q's not really taking advantage of like the hydrant really like. Uh, he's just popping it down. Honestly, he's just it's popping not it down, really like uh, letting it be. Yeah. Uh, like Pac-Man can easily um, knock off his own hydrant with like back air. For sure. Like, for sure. Back air instantly gets rid of hydrant, or at, le or at least like gets it off the. One platform. thing to say, Pac-Man's recovery is probably one of the best in the game because he has two different choices and way and, and, and ways to do it. Either the up B or the right. Pac-Man. Right. Pac-Man has uh, su superb recovery. Um. Uh, this, However, his up a his up a little bit questionable because yeah, oh yeah, because his opponent it, can just simply like get on the <laughs> double double and then they can hop right off and he's pretty much done. Pretty much done. Um, it's 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 that's a situational kind of thing for me because it's dependent <laughs> upon the character in which they're fighting. Right. But um, I agree with you. I agree with you. <laughs> so um, they still have both stocks. Um, uh, Doc, you really not taking advantage. Too much of his bonus fruit and Toss it. oh uh, man and hydrant uh, kind of just wasted that one there. Yeah. Uh, Ed Ed tries to go for oh the, and they're very powerful, smash, but he gets very, punished very instead with uh, Pac-Man's own up smash. So okay, so now we're using the hydrant for something. Whoa. whoa. Yeah, right. <laughs> what is this game? <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Side beat. Very nice. Uh, oh, good recovery there. I don't see the thing is I think that he could have extended uh, it and gotten the up and not even had to use the up B, but just extended the side. Or a bit even more. just even just pop the up B and just keep hopping and then hop around. Right. Um. So um, a miss base forwards. Uh, Doc Q's playing right now, and I'm on here. <laughs> so um, earlier earlier there, uh, Doc Q miss base the forward smash and got punished. So and now the two are pretty much even. Um, Doc is still not really taking advantage of uh, these hydrants here, as, you, as I feel like he should be. Yeah, I agree. I think that the the the, like, the thing about Pac-Man's strengths is that he has insanely good recovery, in my opinion, 
and and the the hydrant. If you get the hydrant, the recovery, even sometimes, even as even as neutral B with the um, with the fruit and uh, the possible it. key, it's a very. It, it, there's a lot of. It's like a triple threat, and it, like all of his smashes are very good. Uh, they, they they all they ha they do good. Uh, great uh, great knockback, but as a trade off, they have like really garbage. Uh, yeah, and lag. So agreed. It, agreed. It, so if you miss it, then you're going to get punished really for hard. sure. You have to be on point with your Pac Man, but honestly. Uh, a surprise vanish there by Ed. Uh, that's not going to kill, especially at the percent that both Sheik and Pac Man are. Sheik at least needs a uh, rage to kill with that up B. Agreed. I think if Doc Q, uh, to just, oh. just to just counteract, I think that if Doc Q wants to be able to get the set, he's got to be using his over B more aggressively. As oh, well. and Ed oh. takes advantage of that hydrant. Oh, oh man! And he Get Very he nice. snipes Doc Q with the bouncing fish. Very That's probably like nice. the first one of the match. Yeah, I know <laughs> that was. I don't think I've seen that all match. He was uh, like his trump card there. Oh yeah, it was like someone touching my ears. <laughs> this is like uh, like my pad in my hat. I decided to leave my Pikachu hat at home today. I like Digimon. Digimon hey, is really cool. Looks great. Looks have great. you watched uh, Digimon Try yet? I have not. I have not. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know sorry. Dave has. Yeah, he won't shut up about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dave, shut up about Digimon wherever you are. Uh, so back to the set here. Um, <laughs> so Ed taking that first one. Oh, uh, it seems like both players are going to switch. Oh, we're going for a Bowser this time. All right. Ed. So Doc Q not feeling himself with the Pac-Man tonight and deciding to go with Bowser. Ed's going to switch to Honestly, the Honestly, I think that his Pac-Man was... Fine if he just executed the fire hydrant more and it, used his over B more. If he, if he if he used the tools that were made to make Pac Man good, yeah, I think he would. I mean, that sounds so silly. Like uh, if he did what was supposed to be done, <laughs> then it'd be done. But like it's one of those things where he doesn't seem to understand that if you use those abilities correctly, you're going to be able to make the best out of that situation because there were multiple times where he easily could have just defeated Sheik and it didn't turn out that way. Right. So uh, this matchup def I feel like is probably going to be in ZSS's favor. Oh, s absolutely. Uh, Bowser is a bit too slow to really like challenge anything that uh, ZSS has. ZSS He's a bit has too a paralyzer slow. And, and the whip in general like just all around <laughs> really good. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. And uh, the thing is uh, Weren't there? I was gonna say there were recent Bowser nerfs, correct? Um, I'm not. I'm not too sure, but I. I don't think they would. They would nerf Bowser. I think. I think if anything, he needs a, a few more tools to be viable, viable competitively. Okay. Yeah. Like I. I mean, like he has. He I remember he had a, when, on release. He had a very strong over. Like well, both of, all of his smashes were very strong, but. I yeah, I think don't. he. I think he had us. I think he had and still has super armor. On most of his smash attacks. Okay. So they really can't be beat out, but. Because I remember at least when it had started, there was a lot of back and forth by people about how. Oh, oh so baby. So Ed tries to go for the forward air there. He misses and gets punished with the uh, by the down B. Bowser just got that ass smash up in there. <laughs> when, the, when that booty's too strong. <laughs> <laughs> when the booty game on point, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, so, so Ed trying to... Oh, that was uh, a questionable option by Ed, but he managed to make it back okay. For sure, for sure. I mean, uh, so, so interesting, he's fishing for these uh, boost kicks here, and... I, like, sure, it'll, it'll kill Bowser. Oh! There, there we go. And there you go, right there. <laughs> splat right on the screen. All right, so I guess... Uh, the fishing for up bees uh, worked in Ed's favor. It's it, I agree with you though in that it was it was a bit too much, um, mm -hmm. but it, it it ended up paying off. So what do we know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Ed trying to keep Doc Q away with these uh, paralyzer shots. I mean they're starting they're they're working, but like I think they're starting to space a bit better. Um, uh, Doc, yeah. Doc Q knows he can't really challenge anything ZSS has, so he feels like spacing <laughs> spacing probably is only good tool here. Um, so he, he misses with the down B to try to catch uh, Ed off guard. I mean, how, how they're playing is just very, it's indicative of their play styles. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Doc Q, you know, also, also playing Ganondorf in the last set. Ganondorf uh, and Pac-Man as well. It, it's, I, I think Doc Q prefers more like, uh, 
ca more characters that like rely on patience. Yeah, and not only patience, but the they have the power behind their moves, and and that like they aren't necessarily the flashiest, like Zoot, Zoot, or uh, or uh, Falco. Um, but they oh, oh man, we get very, the, we get very the flip nice. kick extension, <laughs> flip kick extension, and by the, the game. dot Q. Very nice. And there's Very nice. Uh, two O for Ed. Two O for Ed. The zoot suit pays off. It always pays off. Look at it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I'm surprised he wasn't sexy Samus. <laughs> I'm I'm very surprised. All right. I think. Uh, hey Gabe, can you tell? Do I, do I go against Doc Q now? I, I think you mentioned that sometime oh, before. Oh no. Though. Yeah, you're going against Doc Q. But you're gonna be back here. Here, you're going out there. Yes. All right. Probably so should have had you go. So out. am I? Am I waiting for? You're waiting. All yeah. right. So I, I'm on here for a few more minutes. Some good commentary.